How's it going guys? My name is Tommy McGrath. I am the owner of Carolina Drone Productions and I wanted to make a quick how-to video on how our contract photographers should shoot real estate listings. You're going to want to start off by prepping the house. This looks like turning on all the lights, opening the blinds halfway, closing toilet seats, and basically just making the house look presentable. You can do this by reorganizing pillows, moving around papers if it looks kind of cluttered, um, but it's pretty basic stuff. You just want to make sure the house looks presentable and the lights both on the inside and outside of the house are turned on, especially for those exterior photos. Sometimes people overlook that when turning on the lights. Um, but you just want to make sure you have it looking presentable and ready to go for the shoots. When it comes to setting up the camera for the photos, make sure your camera is in manual mode. Make sure your f-stop is at 7 and you want your ISO to be at 400. The only thing you'll be adjusting is the shutter speed. As long as the f-stop's at 7.1 and the ISO is at 400, you should be good to go. You also want to make sure to have the camera in continuous bracket shooting. You're going to have the photos be two stops away and in intervals of three photos. When shooting the house, you want to make sure to do at least one or two photos of every room and then in bigger rooms like the living room, in the kitchen, in the master bedroom, you maybe want to get two or three and maybe even more depending on the size of the room. Also make sure to shoot between 16 and 35 millimeters. Any wider than this may look a little unrealistic and could get complaints from the homeowners or the realtors. Also make sure to delete the bad photos as you go. Um, it's important to remember this just so it's easier for you after the shoot when you're going back through and then for our editor who doesn't have to edit the same photos multiple times. For the video, you want the f-stop to be 4 and the ISO to be around 1600. Sometimes in darker rooms you're going to have to go higher than this, but generally I think you'll be able to shoot the house at 1600 ISO. Also make sure to shoot in 60 frames per second just so the editing team can slow down the footage in post-production. With the video, you want to make sure to get two to five second clips just to make sure our editors have plenty to work with. Typically, we tend to do a slow walk into the room. We also do a side pan for living rooms and then bigger rooms just to give it kind of more of a feel of what it's like. We also recommend doing a pan up or a pan down shot for nicer chandeliers or nicer foyers just so you can get a feel for what like the stairs are like or what the living room's like. And the last important thing to remember is when it comes to the realtor's sign being in the front yard, make sure that's removed by the time you shoot photos. 